Hey everyone, Angel over at AJ's Exchange, and today I wanted to take a few minutes and tell you about a small company, a very good company, a respectable company out of North Carolina. The company is Pisga Range Limited. It's a one man operation. Owner's name is Ryan. He makes these amazing high quality laces, paracord laces. Out of his garage. He makes the toughest laces, period. And I can attest to it. Alright, so let's get to it. Right here we've got the, the van skate highs. Very, uh, these are very, one of my most abused pairs of sneakers. I wore them to the skate park, riding BMX. Um, and I wear the teal color laces. Pisgah Range stamped, let's see there, PR, LT, let's try to get that focused, PR, LTD, these are stamped on all his aglets, you have a choice of gunmetal, like these, and brass aglet color, so these are like a silver, a dark, dark silver color, and uh, Let's move on to the next ones, the 8137s. As you can see, the 8137s are, these are not regular 8137s. I have a video explaining how I got uh, the black Skagway, which is just a plain, smooth black leather into this finish using a 120 grit sandpaper. Uh, but that's, I've got another video covering that. Um, anyhow, so these, what I wanted to mention was these come with a black coated brass eyelets and when I hit them with the 120 grit sandpaper I took the time to expose that brass eyelet and lo and behold he makes these touch of gray laces which really capture the contrast the black and gray as well as the brass aglets and um, I'm, I'm a big fan of these boots. I don't wear them enough, but I say that about all my Red Wings. I don't wear them enough because I've only got two feet, um, not 16. So uh, next I have the 8890s. These are the charcoal rough and tough. Uh, very different from the 8137s that have been uh, hit with the sandpaper. So these are a gray charcoal charcoal rough and tough and these uh, my favorite thing about these is there's not one color you can use to describe the color of these you know they're from afar you know they're a gray color but they have a little bit of olive green a little bit of uh brown coming through but uh i found that the desert camels really pick up all the different colors that these kind of bring out I have the gunmetal aglets on these let's see here come on come on and anyhow my apologies this is a cell phone camera that I use there we go cell phone camera and uh, you know I'm just a regular Joe making videos in my garage. Next, these are an old pair of Timberlands. I've had these for so long. I don't even know, probably 10 years. And they're just a nice casual shoe um, that I like to wear every once in a while. And uh, so when I first started getting these laces, I started getting a 56 inch length. And uh, one thing you will get, you will learn about the Pisgahs, they're made out of paracord, so extremely durable. Uh, they have a very good uh, tensile strength. I want to say the brake strength is about 500 pounds that he, uh, Ryan has up on the website, PisgahRangeLimited.com. Um, so a very durable, very strong lace. And... Uh, with that being said, when you want a durable lace, they're going to be... Well, the, the characteristics of paracord is that they're a little bit... Come on. They're very... Uh, they're a little bit slippery. So, um, 
you have to double knot them. If you want them to stay tied, you double knot them. That's that's what I've come across. Maybe people have had other experiences, but it's not an issue. Now, the only thing is, uh, so I started getting 56 inch length, but now I get 58. I got an extra two inches. That way I can double knot and still have a little bit of a hang down. I like, I like the laces to be exposed um, below my selvage cuff when I'm wearing selvage denim. So, so I, I had a, my first pair of uh, desert camels, which came in 56, but I just wanted to know another, another two inches. So I ordered another, the same pair in 58 inches, and they're perfect, perfect length for me. So I had a pair of 56 inches, and I found these shoes, which were rocking. Uh, just a regular cotton flat lace and uh, these I mean they just go they just go that's what I love about the Pisgah ranges because they have they have so many colors no matter what color boot you have and no matter how crappy your camera is at focusing <laughs> there's a color for each one of your boots and whatever outfit whatever you whatever you're looking for these are my current. These are my current favorites. These are my 8146s in the Briar Oil Slicks, and uh, I picked these. These are the Fall Camo. These are the Fall Camo, and uh, let's see how long it takes. These have uh, like two different color greens, a little bit of I think like an orangey color, and I think black as well. But uh, these are the gunmetal aglets to go with the nickel eyelets. And uh, yeah, usually if my boots that I plan on using them in have the gunmetal aglets, I'll use the, I mean, have the, if the boots have the nickel eyelets, I'll get the gunmetal aglets to match. They're not a perfect match, but they are very close. And they look very good together, okay? Next, we got the 8086s. I have just, the, these are uh, Charcoal Rough and Tough. Another one of my favorite boots to wear. Um, they're just very versatile, go with almost anything. You can throw them on. Um, these, I got the uh, brass aglets. The black laces with the brass aglets and uh these are the brass uh coated in black but they're brass eyelets and uh once they start to uh once they start to wear through they'll start showing the uh the true brass underneath and they'll they'll still match after some time um sometimes i'll throw the uh the touch of grays on these here just to mix them up and uh, I'll even throw them on my 8146s also sometimes just to mix them up um, next <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram you've seen these these are my 4581s in Hawthorne Mule Skinner um, which is not what you're looking at right now Hawthorne Mule Skinner is a very light uh, beige color and uh, I have another YouTube video covering how I how I addressed the uh, the uh, the shininess on the cap toe with uh, some <laughs> some uh, was it a wire brush and uh, yeah I got some yeah, of course I got some backlash in the comments I love it I love it but uh, as you can see the laces the I'm sorry the uh, Stitching is holding up just fine, so don't you worry about the little bit of wire brush on a on a rough out leather. These are uh, so, like I said, these uh, these came with these came with these are a Hawthorne Mule Skinner, very light tan color. I used a Rit dye. I think it was the Green Apple um, Rit dye, and I just went to town on these. I just wanted to change the look up a bit. And I'm uh, very happy with the way they came out. With these, with the green apple writ dyed Hawthorne Mule Skinner, I used the Coyote Browns. 
And uh, the Coyote Browns are, they're not a very dark brown, they're very light. I want to say almost a beige color, um, a, almost a cross from, a cross between uh, like a really light olive drab color. I mean, if you know coyote, coyote brown colors, coyote tan colors, they have a really natural uh, hue to them. Anyhow, these have the, the brass aglets and these have the brass eyelets. So again, another win, just a good match. And uh, yeah, I love these. These are my most comfortable Red, uh, Red Wing Iron Rangers. These are also the, the most stiff of all my leathers. These Hawthorne Mule Skinners, super stiff leather. Once you break them in, you're going to love them. And they're going to last. They're probably going to outlast any of my other boots here, any of my other Red Wings. Um, I'm fairly certain of it. But they're, they're the most comfortable. And I think it's a lot, a lot has to, ha, I think it has a lot to do with the, uh, the nitro cork soles which uh, are a little bit softer. Maybe some people disagree, but I, I feel that the nitro cork outsoles are a lot softer than the uh, Vibra mini lug soles. Hey, comment down, comment down below on your opinions. What's, uh, what's more comfortable? The Vibra mini lugs, which no doubt they have lug soles so they're gonna have better grip however um these a little bit more impact uh absorbing the nitro corks anyhow next we have the 875s 875s um and these boots here i love them man these are these are the go-tos for anybody looking to wear some uh, very casual looking uh, boots to match a selvage, denim, you know, slacks, <clears throat> that oral legacy color. This is the rust color, not to be confused with the, what's the other, uh, he's got another chocolate brown color, very similar, but just a little bit darker. A little bit more brown. These show up very orange right now, I'm noticing, um, with the camera and the LED lighting. Um, but they're they're a perf they are an exact match for these uh Aura Legacy 875s. I absolutely love them. Uh once again we got the nickel eyelets, so I am using the gunmetal aglets to match, and they look great together. No question, no doubt about that. Uh, let's move on to the 8085s. Iron Rangers in the Copper Rough and Tough. Love these boots. This was my first pair of Iron Rangers. And uh, all right, this is, this is another thing I want to talk to you guys about. So when you get the 8085s or many other Red Wings uh, in a brown color, they come with these black and brown Tazlon laces, which are very nice. They're cool. They're very durable and stuff like that. Um, but over time, they start they start to uh, let's see. Can we get a little bit of uh, can we get a little bit of focus action? Anyhow, um, these are these are very durable laces. Um, but one thing you may notice is that Red Wing, your laces are short, bro. Laces are short. Come on, man. Stop slacking. Anyhow, um, better yet, forget it. Make your laces short. That way people will buy more Pisgah Range Limited. Pisgah Range Limited laces. So this is the pure, purest brown color. And uh, I was talking to Ryan and he just... He wanted to capture that, that uh, just the, the original, the uh, traditional Tazlon colors that come on many laces, or um, that come on many heritage boots uh, from factory, and he nailed it, man. So these have a contrast of brown and black 
uh, thread that are woven together in the paracord. And uh, they <laughs> look great, Ryan. They look fabulous, man. Good job on these um, nickel gunmetal aglets for the nickel eyelets. Let's go. Killer combo right there. All right, and these here. These here are my 9011 Red Wing Beckmans. Ah, I, I love these boots. Uh, perfect mix of casual and uh, not so casual. You can dress them up somewhat. Um, but you have these uh, these uh, mini commando soles. I forget the name of these. Um, Red Wing, don't stop making these soles because uh, I'm probably going to get these resold in the same ones. Um, as many of you know, they stopped making these Beckmans. So go out and get yourself a pair before you can't find any that are unused. Okay, so the Red Wing Beckmans 9011s. This is a cherry featherwood or feather featherstone, cherry featherstone color, a burgundy. Um, and I initially got the maroon laces. Let's see if I have them. Uh, I don't even know if I have them here. But uh, so the Beckmans come with a flat waxed lace. Cool. Yeah, they look fine. Uh, only problem is, hey, Red Wing, laces are short, bro. People like to tie their laces. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's not cool. Anyhow, so I chucked these right away. And uh, at first, I used a maroon color by Pisgah Range, and they looked awesome. Uh, check out my Instagram. I have them. Uh, I posted a few pictures and videos wearing them, and they look good. Um, however, uh, I chose to switch up the color. So I tried these, uh, again, the Red Wing Taslon, the, uh, original, uh, traditional yellow and yellow and light brown color. And they look great. Um, but Pisgah Range knocked it out the park once again with these. Uh, purest gold and uh, check out their site man pisgarangelimited.com um, they've got some great great color laces to match any color boots you want any color boots no matter what no matter what it is you're looking for they've got something to go um, these are looking really yellow right now by the way under this LED lighting and they actually match a lot better in natural sunlight to these, uh, to these, uh, I forget what these call it, the, uh, the welt or whatever. Um, anyhow, I love them. Love the look. I've been wearing these. I've kept these on, on these Beckmans for quite a while. And they're just a, they're just a nice classy contrast that they bring. Uh, it makes the boots look a little more rugged, but um, and that's that's what I've been going for. So the purest gold, they've been made. They've been made to uh, basically just capture the look, the factory, uh, factory traditional Taslon lace color, and they really knocked it out the park, man. So the purest gold and the purest brown really knocked it out the park. I think the purest brown looked ten times better than these. Then these uh the red wing Taslon laces, the brown and blacks. Uh they're cool, but uh they just they're not long enough and they stay right here rolled up. Actually sit in my closet. Um and so here we go. 9011s, cherry featherstones with the purest gold, 8085s, copper rough and tough. With the purest brown, 875s with the rust color. Perfect match. These two match exact. 4581s, 
customized uh, writ dyed with green apple. And they go great with these coyote brown colors. Uh, let's see. Red wing 8086s. Charcoal rough and toughs. With just the plain old blacks and gold aglets. They look very sharp together. Sometimes I have them in the 80, with the 8146s also. Cause just because of the black black uh, piping up above the collar, whatever you call that. <laughs> um, and the black commando soles, Vibram commando soles. I love these guys right here. Um, very comfortable, extremely comfortable. And these fall camos, they go, they tie together really good with any camouflage, uh, any, any regular camo colors you wanna pull in together. Um, I like them with this Carhartt. Uh, olive drab color and red they kind of just go together with a lot um, very versatile okay here's the Timberlands Timberland I don't know what these shoes are called I just had them for a long time and uh, they go good with the desert camos desert camos also look really good with the 8890s, Charcoal Rough and Tufts. Charcoal Rough and Tufts fitting like a glove. These are fitting like a well-used, well-worn baseball glove, these here. I, these are my go-tos for any yard work, uh, driveway work, any anytime I'm gonna be on my knees, uh, dragging toe, or just walking a lot. I'm gonna be wearing these here welded in these and there is no fraying absolutely no fraying tons of slag fell on these and there is no fraying going on here guys just top-notch quality all right red wing 8137s with the touch of gray oh man that's a killer combo right there guys and then here the teals on the skate highs. I don't know what color the Vansies are, but uh, they they go good. They just they're just a, a chill color, um, and these teal color will go with I'm sure any color. Uh, I threw them on the I'm throwing them on my 9011s actually one day, and they look cool. So there you have it. Those are the Pisgah range limited. Uh, just a few of their colors that they offer. Check out their website. They have tons of colors, like I said. Um, the best, my favorite, absolute favorite thing about Pisgah Range Limited is that they come in any any length, any custom length you'd like. Any color that he has, he'll cut them into any length exact. So take some measurements. Um, if you like what Red Wing offers... Um, as far as lace length, go with it. But remember, you're going to have to double double knot these. Um, so maybe add, like I did, add an extra two inches to whatever length you want. And you should be just fine. All right. Um, the toughest laces, period. Ryan is a U.S. Army vet. So thank you for your service, Ryan. And keep making those kick-ass, toughest laces, period. Pisgah Range Limited Laces are made right here in America by a U.S. Army veteran. It was one guy who had a goal. It was to make durable laces that are going to last you, look good, and are affordable. They're 10 bucks a pair. And remember, you can. there is a, there's a little box in the order form where you put the exact length that you want, okay? There's no extra charge, any custom length, 70 inches all the way to 10 inches, whatever length you want, 10 bucks a pair, ship to your door. There's nothing better than that, okay? Um, follow him on Instagram, Pisgah Range, P-I-S-G-A-H underscore R-A-N-G-E underscore L-T-D, Pisgah Range Limited. And uh, he's got a link in his website, a Shopify store, really good. Um, 
follow me on Instagram, AJS underscore exchange dot com. And uh, thanks for watching. Again, this is just, this is uh, not a paid promotion, anything like that. Just some more valuable content I like to provide you guys with, okay? I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, throw some comments in. Uh, let's talk some trash. Just kidding. All right, guys, take care.